All right, let's start this podcast with a bang. This uh, speaking of bang, John Morant. No, I'm playing <laughs> episode eight. <laughs> Welcome to episode eighty-eight of Crash Dummies Podcast. I'm your host, Patrick. <laughs> You're not gonna introduce me. I gotta introduce you. Introduce yourself. <laughs> nah, you gotta like like I'm a, I'm a uh, prince, so you gotta. Oh hell, Prince Mikael. All three people clapping and shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's the wrong one. Boo this nigga. <laughs> you can't curse in the first time. I can't say no. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they did monetize it one time. Because you said the hard ER, which is yeah, crazy. Yeah, I get that, in the though. First, in the first 30 seconds? The first 30 seconds, Yeah, for sure. you can't say the hard ER in the first 30 <laughs> seconds. But <laughs> later on, you can say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody. Everybody like, oh, 30 seconds. We also got our um, Max in the background. Max is gonna might is gonna probably be a um a staple here for now. So everybody get used to his voice. Tell him everybody, Max. Yo. Max, are you mixed? No, but I have people like ask me if I'm mixed. Does everybody ever tell you like Pete Davidson? All the time. <laughs> like all the time. It's kind of wild. Really? Yeah. You look just like him. <laughs> you look just if like him. I have like a hat on too, it like it's like perfect. Because my hair is not the same. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I mean, that's a really good person to look like, right? Yeah, now. It, it, it works. It's been, it's been working, bro. <laughs> All right, so everybody, you know, so I was John Moran, stupid. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Nah, he's tweaking. Hey, but that little ass gun he had, though, that shit was crazy. To hold a gun with two fingers, I'm getting a new gun. See, I thought that was an old clip, and the reason I thought it was an old clip because they literally just said he beat up a 17 year old. At a, a, a basketball court That's what court. I'm saying He's already trending For the wrong yeah, reason Yeah so he's like <laughs> What did he think He had to be high bro They got to drug test him hey, <laughs> He had to be high In the bitch He had to be Nobody does that shit no Sober way. You know what I think Ja Morant Hang mm-hmm. around A bunch of I bet you won't niggas What do you mean it's a bunch of niggas saying, I bet you won't all day, and this nigga falling for it. <laughs> you think so? Talking people, about, John so, talking about, say I won't, I, I bet you won't up the poll on Instagram Live. <laughs> say I won't. And then John put, he had that little cricket gun. That's the same one Will Smith had yeah. in Men in Black. So they were double daring him? Da, got to, bro. <laughs> Getting double dared in your, tw- your <laughs> late 20s is, is crazy. I didn't see the picture. It's. Actually, like really small. Yeah, <laughs> that's a small ass gun. It looks like a, a toy gun. You got two hundred million dollars. Like, Give me the smallest gun you got. <laughs> you don't even need a silencer for that bitch. That bitch silent on his own. God damn, little ass gun. You know it's a little ass gun when it fit in the screen. Yeah. If I'm picking my gun up with two fingers and dangling it, I'm like, All right, maybe I need another gun. No, if you're doing like this and it fits around the whole. Uh, grip that's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy <laughs> they got a paper clip in his hand <laughs> having a different gun for different beef like oh this is a fat ass nigga let me get my shotgun <laughs> gotta be able to shoot everything yeah. oh my god but um yeah getting double dared in your 20s is crazy which then led me to think about uh when we used to play truth or dare yeah and i don't know why anybody felt obligated to tell the truth during truth of stuff like yeah don't dare at least with a dare when you're a kid people around you can peer pressure you into you know doing the dare but if i say truth every time i'm just gonna say truth and lie like a motherfucker but it was always some scandalous shit that was <laughs> yeah. going down that's what you miss about it it wasn't the fact that anybody was gonna say uh truth or dare you peed in the bed before mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah it was somebody in the room knows the truth and that person gonna hold you to it if you don't say it. <laughs> and that's their time to ask you. You know what I'm saying? Truth or dare, did you fuck Jessica? <laughs> yeah, I did. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you chubby chaser. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I was gonna be like that time you uh, you had sex with a midget. That's crazy. You. Me? Yeah. I had sex with I would actually brag about that. <laughs> you think you would? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I did that, I would just go. I'm like. Man, that's all I'm going is midgets. Might as well stay that way. True, true. I would. That's what I'm saying. I would stay that way. Stay what way? Just stay with the midgets? <laughs> so do you think if someone said John Morant, you won't date a midget, he, he would probably date a midget then? If they say he couldn't get a midget, <laughs> then I think he would date a midget. If they say they c- Because that's, a, that's what I feel. It's funny because everybody, rarely do people like comment on 
stuff that they think that you're headed down the path. Mm-hmm. Usually they, they're wrong about that stuff. Yeah. Like when Shannon Sharp was like, John Moran headed down the wrong path. They think he had gangster, blah, blah, blah. Usually like it die out and then that person talks shit like, oh, I thought I was headed down the wrong path. Like, no, this nigga's actually headed down the wrong path <laughs> and he got luggage. He got people with him. This nigga... He having a journey. Yeah. He actually want to be headed down. They <laughs> nah, celebrating. To point the laser at <laughs> the little green sight thing at the, the Pacers, mm. it's kind of crazy. I mean, he tweeting back at uh, fans talking about, you going to see how these hollows. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, let's work on our left-hand layup. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Maybe we should do something more productive with our shit. Yeah. Ja Morant. So, I you know when the people said there's you know there's deadbeat dads right yeah I've never heard of a deadbeat grandpa oh they out there they are they probably just don't get I feel like if you're a deadbeat grandpa you probably were a deadbeat dad like I feel like that shit just don't kick in <laughs> like damn I don't really fuck with my grandson all right no <laughs> but I guess there's no like real um, obligations you know like daily obligations for when you're a grandparent type of thing for your grandson or nah, grand- you don't owe them shit yeah. <laughs> you did your part yeah. <laughs> the crazy thing is like i was singing the other day like how i know it you know it sounds like a symptom but how can you hang around a dead beat that yeah like it would just be so hard for me to hang around a dead beat dad and just be friends with him mm-hmm Hey, bro, what you on today? Shit, I ain't got nothing. You could be doing something. <laughs> hey, that ain't my problem. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you watch a kid go by, that shit don't mean nothing to you? You don't feel nothing in your heart? Yeah, I don't know. They must have Debbie dads also. Who? The people that are deadbeat oh, dads. Oh, right. They like, my, that's that's a crazy thing. To be a deadbeat with a good father is, is insane. To be a deadbeat... And had a deadbeat is way more insaner. If Why? That's the word. <laughs> like, oh, uh, because you already know how it made you, you feel. You feel like, oh, this shit hurt. My daddy wasn't there. I'm gonna do the same thing to you. <laughs> you gonna see how I grew up. This shit was hard as hell. <laughs> Watch you gonna cry every night. All right, I see you though. <laughs> like, what? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> deadbeat dad's always broke. Like, you think. <laughs> You would think they would work more, right? Yeah. Like, you ain't got no responsibilities. How about pick up 60 hours, Gerald? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How you broke and don't take care of your kids? Oh, yeah, Child I'm, support 157. <laughs> well, I saw such a specific number. That's, what the, that's how the government gets you. Yeah. I don't know what they be on. Did Anytime they, I order government, it'd be random as hell. Do they got a number for child support? I think it's off, like, what you make. So, like, I mean, it's a lot of dudes out here paying, like, $50 a month. Fifty dollars? Yeah. Damn, how much they make? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. They probably ain't making shit. They probably just the meat dude. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> like, just the meat dude. There's another guy for cheese though. <laughs> you can't graduate to cheese. That should take too much thinking, bro. It, <laughs> I always wonder, like the in the especially like the Qdoba and like the Chipotle uh, uh, sides. Yeah, it's always like they get to that point where they hand off, and then, <laughs> but then you know they pee the. the person on the meats right yeah and then you start the person on the cheeses and the other stuff they're busy so the person on the meats reaches over to the cheese and he just don't i don't know i think it they go, it go dumbest to smartest <laughs> for real? they put the dumb person at the because it's like bowl or burrito like you got two things <laughs> handle that nigga <laughs> then they get a meat dude he got five meats right so he like that's all he got the toppings person they got 10 Plus the sauce, and they usually the one that take it over and ring it up. Yeah. So that's they, why I be disrespecting the first two dudes. They got to wrap it. The next people got to wrap their burrito, and that's a... Bro, right. wrapping a bur- bur- burrito at Qdoba and Chipotle, they... they I give them props. Yeah. Because niggas, props. Be, you niggas be trying to put every ingredient in their burrito, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they be mad when that shit rips. <laughs> I don't see an, how a nigga can like, make a burrito and just not think like, damn... Maybe I should go to college. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would do it for me. I ain't gonna lie. But the, some people first, are in college and hey, wrapping burritos, though. The first burrito I fold, I'd be like, man, this ain't, the one I mess up, I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> the burrito broke on me, nigga. My, I gotta get my life together. Bro, working any job where the, the promotional ladder is not clear is, is just ass to me. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Let me know what I'm working yeah. towards. Like, yeah. I'm mopping floors. 
to become what? You know what I mean? Yeah. So like to get a better you know, some people work to get a better shift before they even get work to get a promotion, which yeah. is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Working to get second to get a normal work first shift. Nurses do that a lot. That's what I'm like, saying. Like if you're a new nurse, you're gonna get the shitty shifts. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. new cops. Yeah. <laughs> so they always so, put the rookies on at night. Yeah, if you get pulled over at three in the morning, just know this nigga ain't never shot nobody. <laughs> you good, you can run. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no aim <laughs> Oh so I was thinking over the weekend Why do criminals get all the like cool names Like you like the merchant of death uh, What was Jeffrey Dahmer's name That was just Jeffrey Dahmer There were some other criminals that get really cool names like, like that But like the people that do good Good stuff in life never got cool n- Nicknames like Martin Luther King They could have called him something Like the The Kang, <laughs> no, Kang the, Jr., the freedom guy or some shit yeah. <laughs> Freedom man I don't yeah, know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga <laughs> For real Obama's a pretty cool name In my opinion That's his oh. real name though Oh you said like a nickname Yeah <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just talking about Straight up names no, I was gonna say There's no way you think Obama's <laughs> That's his nickname <laughs> <laughs> Nigga that's OBJ <laughs> OBJ is not even that cool for <laughs> No, OBJ tough. Yeah, OBJ is a tough because those are weird, a weird combination of initials. OBJ. Yeah, there's some nicknames they be trying to force though. I'm trying to think of one. <laughs> I can't really think of it. Well, like what? Just some they like. You know when people like try to force themselves to give the. So it took forever for like people to start calling like G Herbo. Um, G Herbal because it used to go by like Lil Herb or something like that. Mm. So, so it's like they really forced the nickname. I really, I really don't mind a nickname and, and unless like I don't know. It just like has it, nothing to do you, with you. You gotta have a song that lets you like nobody was gonna call call Soldier Boy Draco until he had a song where he was calling himself Draco. Yeah. And it got more familiar. Yeah, true. But like Bow Wow, is he Lil Bow Wow to you or he's Bow Wow? I call him Bow Wow. I don't call him Bow Wow. Lil Bow Wow is kind of crazy. That's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, I was, see, to see Romeo but, or Bow Wow. But no, now he doesn't want to go by Bow Wow. He wants to go by Shad. Shad? I think it's Shad. Shad, Shad. You stupid as fuck. How am I stupid for getting his name wrong? <laughs> Come on, that's a but, goat, man. But but you people are still going to call him Bow Wow. Yeah. Nobody's calling him Shad. Is it Shad? Man, whatever, man. Shade? What's his name? Shad Moss. Shad Moss. I know. I knew that. That's Bow Wow's real name. Yeah, yeah. That, that was like one of the like knowing a rapper's real name like back then was like really interesting. Now yeah. I don't really care like it what was future 50, like Curtis Jackson. Yeah, exactly. Marshall Mathers. Like what's Future's real name? Oh yeah, I forgot that one. we got Max to. I think it's fu- of- I think it's uh, futuristic. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the whole thing. I looked up the future real name. It said, oh, wait. Bro, I don't know how to say this. Nick. <laughs> Holy shit. That's his name? Nadavius. Oh, that's right. Damon Cash. Cash. There's no way Cash is his last name. That's you might have just changed that one. No, I, I know a couple Cashes. Right. Last name. Kevin. Oh, okay. Nadavius. Nadavius. Yeah, I, I would have claimed yeah. it with a nickname, too. <laughs> Fuck. I wonder how he got the name Future. Huh? <laughs> how he got the name Future. I mean, that's such an easy nickname. For real? Hell yeah. Future? Future. But no one else has been future, and there's been like futuristic and that hey, little rapper. Where did nigga's name pass at? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cringe. I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> where did nigga's name pass at, man? Cardi's real name's Jordan Carter. Jordan. Jordan Carter. Yeah, that's an easy one. Yeah. Cardi Carter. Yeah. So they by her last name. Cardi and what's her sister name? Hennessy. Her sister name is sis- Hennessy. I think her real name is Hennessy. It might be. Yeah. Maybe that's what they was off you, of when they made her. Have you been seeing um Britney Spears on Instagram? Britney Spears on no, I haven't. All right, let me show you a video. I be seeing her like she be taking like almost new pictures on there, don't she? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why he got this vision of Britney Grinder hugging Kevin Durant in my head, bro. What? Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> that shit just been stuck in my head. Like they was they tall as fuck. <laughs> they are tall. <laughs> so look at this. So it's just Britney Spears dancing with uh with barely any clothes on, mm-hmm. and then when she talks, she's like, "I don't know, man. They should have probably kept her <laughs> conservative shit." Nah, free Britney. Nah, <laughs> it might not be free Britney, bro. Nah, she, <laughs> bro, she all right, maybe not. Maybe 
Oh, what her dad was doing is fucked. So, like, fuck the dad. But he was but doing somebody, it. But he got away with it for that reason. Yeah. It's because she... I mean, it looked like she bad shit crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know, a lot of people might get at us about saying it because it was like, I understand. Give Britney Spears back her money. Yeah. But maybe she should have somebody checking on her. At yeah. least, like, or some people there. It's kind of crazy how people, like, get like that. Because... um. When you see her before, she was talking normal mm-hmm. and acting what we call normal. Yeah. But it just feels like that she's talking different. Like, it's like a, another person. Almost like a, you know, when somebody, like, gets schizophrenic? Yeah. And they weren't, they probably weren't before. And, like, it's just different. It's just, like, a whole different person. I don't know how that happens, though, like, in the... Because I know celebrities kind of go... Being a child star and stuff like that can be hard. But I just don't know how, like, that turn happens. Is it just drugs? Drugs Like Aaron Carter was like I can see it was the drugs That made him act this But it always can be like The people around them too Like taking their money Spending it Think of the things That they saw At probably 12, 13 That they probably weren't Like Whatever you think you saw They probably saw way worse Yeah You know what I'm saying They probably saw like You know dudes Overdosing at the age of 12 Phoning up at the mouth Yeah I mean Justin Bieber Was this close to being uh, A drug a, A druggie I thought he was, but he probably <laughs> not not anymore. Oh, like, okay. he, I'm sorry, I thought he went to rehab. Right? Is he yeah. cured of that like eye disease? He had. You guys hear about? Oh that? yeah, it's like half his yeah. face was still. That was like a one day like article, and I haven't heard shit about it since. Yeah, that's because he canceled the. Uh, yeah, he had the little like face. Uh, par- I mean, he hasn't yeah. really done anything after that. I feel like no, he been chilling. Look it up. Yeah, I want one thing, but I do want to say this though, because I hate I hate this stigma that. Something has to go wrong for people to do drugs, right? Everybody's like, every time somebody is on drugs, mm. they're like, man, he must have had a hard life, or this person must have died. He must have went through that. Like, it's some people out here like, man, I love crack, bro. <laughs> just, I, lo- I love it. Just shit. off it. I love it. <laughs> the passion, the game, bro. <laughs> niggas that just love crack. And you can't look at every crackhead and be like, man, I feel so bad for you. It's the niggas out there that love the game. They love the crack game. They love being a crackhead. Well, you man. think if they had the, the no. power to quit, they wouldn't? Nah, man. <laughs> Just go back into it? It's, I wouldn't say everybody. I say it's a small percentage out here. It's not all of them. Are people still doing crack? Yeah. People well, still obviously do I see every it. I see single the, drug. I see the homeless people in, in L.A. a lot. No, no, drug, no drug is expired. I feel like uh, what's the one that those are taking in Wolf of Wall Street? Uh, oh, oh, fuck. What the fuck was that called? Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, uh, Quaaludes. Quaaludes. Yeah, people still take Quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> in twenty twenty three, they got discontinued like in the movie. Yeah. Nah, I heard no. Um, Frank Ocean say like <laughs> something about Quaaludes. For real? Yeah. Where the fuck, you get Quaaludes from? Quaaludes, no sleep in my body. That's what he said. Yeah. They're just making that. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, like, don't just say Quay lose before. I'm just like, if you made that up, that was a perfect lie. Really? That was like legit the perfect lie. I think he said that though. It says President Reagan banned the domestic production and sales of Quay in 1984. Despite this, there are still labs making Quay in Mexico and elsewhere in the world. Oh, okay. Nice I hate when there. I hate when they say when people <laughs> ban shit and they not here no more. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't ban shit. <laughs> that nigga dead. Who? Reagan. Reagan's not dead. Reagan not dead? Bro, Reagan's dead. Ronald bro. Reagan's not dead. I don't think he's dead. dead. Not American, bro. Bro, I swear Ronald Reagan's alive. He's 93. Exactly. He's alive? Yeah. yeah wait, because no, 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 2004, 2004. What? He died, he died in 2004. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing at well, that? When it pops up, it just says, it just says 93. And then at the bottom, and it's like a tiny. Wait, text. what's the president that just went to the, even, the hospital? Nigga, Jimmy what, Carter? He wasn't even around when Tom Brady became the GOAT, nigga. He, <laughs> 2004. <laughs> stop. That nigga wasn't even around at LeBron's prime. Ronald, Ronald Reagan died in 24? Tw- yes, he missed LeBron's whole prime, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. What year did LeBron get drafted? Like, 04, right? 04. That's what I'm saying. He missed the GOAT. Damn. He, knew, he probably knew, though. He was like, this dude. No, then he was worried about putting too many black people in jail. <laughs> I don't know shit about Reagan. Yeah, he was uh he was the uh, the president with the for the war on drugs. Yeah. And basically that's when Oh, that was Reagan. They put drugs into like the hood uh, with people. Wait, that, he was 93 when he died? 
Yeah, all the presidents be living. He the, said he was born in 1911. Jimmy Carter's still alive. Yeah, Jimmy Carter went to the hospital. That's who I thought. I thought it was Ronald Reagan. Mm. I got them mixed up. Yeah, Jimmy. So yeah, he would have been dead regardless right now. <laughs> yeah, ninety three and 04 Yeah, Jimmy Carter like, uh, <laughs> bro, stop. <laughs> He's like Mermaid Man. Wasn't Reagan like a Donald Trump kind of like he was like kind of a famous person before he became? Yeah, he was like an actor. Yeah, he yeah. was. Mm-hmm. They, what the fuck was I doing in history class? I mean, you probably wasn't over here yet. I was here. <laughs> nah, you you don't even know the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking. Pause. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag. Why you got your hand on your stomach? See, he don't know shit. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I pledge allegiance over to the flag. Heart, over your heart. My bad. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. <laughs> to the Republic. For which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. I thought it was with liberty. There's something, something was definitely off in there. <laughs> I, I don't know what it was, but. I thought it was with liberty. Then you say it and then correct me. I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance. Okay, I got it up To now. the flag of the United States of America. It says, I pledge allegiance to my flag. And, okay, this is a different one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the fuck is first, the pledge First day in the job, first day in the job. <laughs> What's, read the pledge, read that one. Hello. Pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America. Uh, what's the part? After? What? Wait, what's the part? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I feel like Papa Doc right now. <laughs> Can't get this shit. Off. What's after it? I know the listeners I listen. Pledge like, allegiance uh, to the flag, United States of America, and to the republic and, for which it stands. And to the republic for, for which, which it stands. stands. I was right. One nation. One under nation you. under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah, it right. Yeah. Oh, so why are you on my dick? But I so feel like you you we had to go back in the recording. I feel like you messed do up. Do the Star Spangled Banner. What's that? What is that? Star Spangled Banner. Oh, that's that's John Jacob. That's another unreleased Frank, Frank Ocean. John song. Jacob. <laughs> what what the what's the one's the Star Spangled Banner? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> is it Oh Say? Okay. That's oh what it's Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held? At the twilight last gleaming, whose bright stars and <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, you had it, you had it. <laughs> Where's I leave off that? <laughs> At the twilight last, last gleaming, <laughs> whose bright stars and bright stars. What about the stripes, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> that boy, wait. I guess the flag got all stars on it, according to you. They're yeah. describing the flag. So what's oh, next? And the rock is red. No, no, no. You skipped over part. <laughs> <What? laughs> Last gleam beat. Whose bright stars and bright stripes through the perilous fight. Yeah. What so proudly we held at the twice. I just said that. Yeah, you used to the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, look. <laughs> I said bring it back. <laughs> that's what it's hard, hard I, to do though. Like, if you can't hear the actually like hearing it at the same time, it's hard. And we stopped saying it. I gotta remember. Nice it. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TD. I'm in this bitch with all track. Do you know the hell song? Yeah. That's crazy. Why is there a train going by? Is that a train? Yeah. <laughs> somebody running a train tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. On to the listener callers, man. Hey, what's good? What's the deal? <laughs> Lord, all right. Let me tell you about my ex, my girl. Hold on. I I just fucking planned. I didn't want to intro it like that. Hold on. <laughs> she started popping right into that shit. All right. Welcome to Crash Enemies Podcast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we gonna try this one more time. <laughs> you an audio listener, ain't you? Yeah. Come on, man. Get this shit together. All right. How do you know? Are, you Are you ready? All right. No, I'm not. Yo, welcome to Crash Enemies Podcast. You're. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, get to the story. <laughs> nah, that's crazy that that's your line, though. Is it your? Hold on. Your? What it do? Where are you from? I'm from Texas. <laughs> oh, Texas? <laughs> Texas. Yeah. What, what part of Texas? I feel like people uh, don't just say they're from Texas. That's a big I'm ass from state. Fort Worth. Fort Worth? Okay. I know yeah. what type of person you is. All right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. 
All right, so basically, I have been dating this guy for like three months, only three months. I introduced him to my full family, and my grandma, she, she's seventy nine. She, she, I don't know how to explain it, bro. She, she really ugly. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> fucking. So wait, wait, wait like, well, what was there to explain about just being ugly? <laughs> How much further could you have gone? I feel like it had nothing. She I had feel- teeth missing and everything. Damn. <laughs> like, nope. We're not going to get into that. Hair missing. Saggy titties. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> well, they down to her belly button. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. had introduced him to my full family, and we were going at it like. Every weekend he would come over to the house and it got to the point where like he was staying over here. So he would stay over here every night and I would wake up and he would be out of my bed. So then I started getting confused because I would like, I would wake up and I'd go to work in the morning. Like I wouldn't just walk around the house. I'd get ready and go. I stayed home one day. Like I called off of work because I wasn't feeling good. I go into the kitchen. Tell me why this nigga is making breakfast for my grandma. Making breakfast for her? Yeah, he's making breakfast with her. So I was like, oh, you're still here? He's like, yeah, I just like was helping your granny clean up and stuff. And I said, okay. Next day, he comes to sleep again. I'm up. I didn't even go to sleep that night. Because I'm like, that's weird that you stayed over when I when I left. Like, that's fucking weird. So, so wait, you're already suspecting your grandma to do something with your, your boyfriend? Yeah, because she's weird. <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> so I stay up. This nigga sneaks out of the bed. He wasn't even like like quiet with it he was so loud he snuck out the bed opens the door goes into my grandma's room next thing you know i hear them fucking <gasps> so already knowing me i live in texas i keep a bat under my bed i grabbed that bat i went up in there and i started hitting the sheets because they under the covers i don't care if that's my grandma i don't care i started whacking the sheets they get to like uncover and shit saying whoa 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 he runs out butt naked. My grandma's just sitting there like, what are you doing? Well, I guess she can't run, huh? What? No, she definitely can run. She fucking your man like that. <laughs> she got she to gotta be a little bit athletic. <laughs> God damn. How how old was the dude? Uh, he was 20. 20? She got yeah. him. Young buck. I know her teeth was in that glass, though. On um, God, it was. That's what I'm saying. That's what she got over you. Nope. Nope, she's having it. Let me stop. But yeah, that's my story. That was not. Nah. It's a cheat code. Huh? Nah, that's a good ass story. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. You said he had an advantage. <laughs> she did. She had a good advantage. She could just take her teeth out. But um, <laughs> where he at now? Where he's at now? He's still with my grandma. Oh, no way. Nah. <laughs> I'm not even playing. He's still with my grandma. They, they still date? together? They're married. <gasps> they they married? Well, the thing is, yes. at least you'll get him back in like 10 years because she'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. No, I don't want him back. He could stay there. Oh, how, wait. That's crazy. How did this go over How, how did this go years? over in your family? Uh, I don't even know. Like, we don't even go over there for Thanksgiving no more. Or Christmas. Damn. God damn. Yeah, they just do their own thing. It's kind of weird. God you, so damn. you lived you so you still live with your grandma? What so in Fort Worth? Yeah, I used to live with them. So you live in yeah, Fort, Worth? Fort Worth? Oh shit. I know it's like I bet you it's like lube shortage in that city because I know they gotta <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be greased up. <laughs> 79 oh, is crazy. <laughs> 79 is insane, bro. Yeah, so, and her 81st, not, not her 81st, her 80th birthday is coming up next month. I wonder what they're gonna do then. <laughs> <laughs> it's not involve me, too. <laughs> hey, but you about to take her to tapioca night. So, how do you move? So, are you have you, you got a new boyfriend now? Um, no, I remain single. Oh, you're not dating or anything? Nah, I feel like because like that's a walk. I'm not gonna lie, if I was just meeting the girl and she said she lost her ex to a grandma, yeah, I'll probably leave her too. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your man to grandma. Nah, what the wild. fuck you gonna do that's with me? <laughs> that's insane. But I'm for real. Um, <laughs> nah, I just laugh. Hey, the girl ain't got no teeth, so I guess she be giving him that sloppy toppy. Well, I don't know. Hey, 
You win some, you lose some. <laughs> you lost today, maybe you'll win tomorrow. <laughs> Gra- <laughs> now, nah, Granny got you good, though. <laughs> I right, appreciate you coming on. All right, All right peace. All right, Here? we <laughs> we got a question for you. <laughs> okay. So we saw in your bio that says sex sex therapist. What does that mean? Oh, it means people come to me for advice about their sex life. Like, <laughs> like real advice or like actionable? Like, yeah, I had the gummy worm for the third day in a row. Doc, I need your help. What do you mean? Wait, what? Like, he couldn't, like, people come to you for like advice or like what they should do in the bedroom? Yeah, and like how to spice things up. What, what's your go to advice? <laughs> <laughs> what's my go to advice? Yeah. It really depends on what the problem is. I'm not gonna hold. Let's say it's some dude. He's been married ten years. Uh, he gets you be like, "Hey, I've been married ten years. Me and my wife, we only have sex once a month. How can I get it going again? Get it going again? Shit! Try new things. Anywhere and everywhere. You know, whenever you're feeling it, do it. Whatever you're feeling. Put so- the little kids to bed. Yeah, yeah. Professional, professional hours. I've been drinking like that. I was about to say, because I would just be like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to leave her, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to divorce her. That's the advice you got for me. No, I get you, divorce. though. No, I get you, though. That was, that was a crazy question. We just had to ask it, though. All right, so I went to this all-white Catholic all-boys high school. What is you? What is you? What is you, though? Huh? So we get I'm the blessed. picture. Okay, okay. Gotcha. I'm black. I'm one of the only three black dudes in the whole entire school at the time. And the <laughs> other two dudes are twins or whatever. So, every spring break, all the kids in the neighboring all-girls school go to, like, Florida and shit for a spring break. Go go crazy. Get drunk. Do this, do that. Whatever. We'll do. And this year, some girl got caught making a fucking list. It's a game. It's kind of like bingo or Jeopardy or whatever. She made a list of all the dudes in the grade, and it was point system to see who could hook up with the dude, do what with the dude, whatnot. And each dude had their own point, right? So somebody found it and exposed it, and it's all the dudes. So we're in religion class looking at this. Everybody's going crazy and stuff. And I look at it. I'm like, all right, who has the most points? And I see that it's me. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm feeling good about myself or whatnot, right? Come to find out, they did that shit because they thought I was ugly. (laughs) They put me number one because I was the most hit dude in the grade. The most what? Oh, so they get more points. Like, if they kiss your ugly ass and they get... (laughs) Cause you gotta yeah, be ugly if they, hook, doing this if they shit. hooked up. Yeah, if we hooked Listen, up. I want you to know about this. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm not trying to be mean, but <laughs> just think they voted on this shit, so multiple people think you that ugly. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't think you're thinking about this. <laughs> Niggas voted on you being ugly. Yes, I was dabbing everybody up. I was feeling like a man. Everybody's hyping me up. Oh, they were da- they, what, what, what were they doing? They're dapping me up because they're like, "Oh yeah, man, like, hey, bro, they want you, bro. They all want you." Nah, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Nah, how do you know? Crazy. How do well, you know? Kind of yeah. racist, though. You're the only black dude. I'm the only black dude. What, wait, grade. what did they do for the other black two black? Yeah, dudes? what was they ranked that? <laughs> man, they're like. <laughs> Two or three hundred points under me. Oh, so you might just been ugly, bro. <laughs> 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 this might not be a race thing. Nah. <laughs> Let me see if this is a guy. <laughs> I don't think I'm that ugly, though. That's the thing. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Let me see. <laughs> oh, you got a girl. You good. Yeah, I'm good. That's the thing. Let me scroll back, bro. Yeah. 
How tall? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> How tall is you? Uh, I'm about like five seven. Five, <laughs> Nigga, Kyler Murray. <laughs> 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 nah, that's not like some racist shit, bro. Wait, he said, yeah. You, I, are you mixed? I live in a. I live in a racist part of Louisiana, like one of the most racist parts. Oh damn! Why you don't just yeah. leave? Huh? Why you don't? I'm working leave? on it. I'm working on it. You better get out of there <laughs> before they work on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nigga laughing and shit. <laughs> Is she supposed to be on the phone right now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know they got that city on lock. <laughs> yeah, I'm at work right now. <laughs> Where you work at? In the field? <laughs> nah, nah, I work in a hospital. Oh, damn. oh shit, you can pull the plug on, on the ones that... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. I'm a, I'm a nurse. A nurse? What if you? What yeah, if you? What if you get a KKK member as like one of your patients? Hey, funny thing though. Do y'all know who David Duke is? Yeah. Who? David yeah. Duke, the leader of the KKK. Oh yeah. yeah. He yeah. He used to live in my neighborhood. Oh, there is that racist. Is that racist? Oh, Holy I actually shit. met this man. Oh, no. oh you met, met him? Man. Yes, I what met he say him. To you? He said, "Hey, how you doing, boy?" No way. I said, "What?" No, he didn't call you that. I swear to God. Sheesh. I swear on everything. He lives in my neighborhood. Damn, you could have did us all a favor. Fucking no, up, bro. You're afraid of him? Huh? Yeah, You're I'm af- scared. Oh, yeah. why'd you say hello to him then? Damn, you got a dude feeling bad and shit. He's scared. I, I did about. not know who He's he was. He's Americans, man. Oh, you didn't know who? I, I did not know. I did not know until afterwards. My friends told me. That's a crazy thing, too. I only have white friends. And they let me go up to the dude and talk to him. Yeah, bro. They, I think it sounds like your city wants you gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got to get out. Let us know what we can do, man. <laughs> we ain't going to do <laughs> shit, but we going to pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I am, but it's fine. Huh? I probably won't. You're good, bro. You'll figure it out. Hey, you got to yeah. get up out that city, though, man. We care about you. Yeah, it's hard over here, bro. <laughs> hey, be <laughs> safe. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, bro. You gotta go in before dark. No like, problem, you know I mean? bro. I fuck with y'all, bro. No, I appreciate it, bro. Hey, we fuck with you, man. Fuck them people in that town. Don't put it too loud, though. Make sure you got your radio down. You know, put, take, your, take your hoodie off. Nah, I listen to country music, dog. Oh, man. You straight. Just get some tinted windows. Yeah, I got that, too. And I drive a truck. There you so, go. Like, I'll, I'll blend in. Yep, run over their ass like zombies. This shit. <laughs> All right, bro. Peace. <laughs> Hope that nigga make it, man. Yo. What's good? What's good? What's the deal? What's good? You turn yourself in yet? <laughs> Wait, you said you said you about to turn yourself in on the show? No, nah, no. Nah, hell no. Nah. I got court first, but they want me to turn myself in, but I ain't doing it. Not yet. I got unfinished business. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what you mean by that? You know. How much is the reward for you? It's ten right now, but ten they trying to put it. Yeah, but they trying to put that bitch up to fifteen. What, what 15? can we? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What can we do to get it up to fifteen? Hold on, you about to, it's about to it's about to it's about to get kind of quiet real quick. All right, just give us like all right, three seconds. All right, all right for sure. Trying to get this dude's location. Nah, man, I can't do it, man. You not snitching. Let's see if we can get his reward money up. Then I consider it. All right. Yeah. All right. What's the deal, my boy? What's happening? We're, we're just happy. We're just talking. In we're private. just talking about some editing shit. You need some shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, uh, but you say the price could go up. Yeah. So basically, if they give you like an extended amount of time, and if you don't turn yourself in by that time, they try to boost it up so people can, you know, snitch to it. You know, like family members or friends, whoever. Right. Random people. Podcasters, shit. Anybody. But. <laughs> Hey, uh, what what's the date that the reward money go up? Um, I think honestly next week. Next week, but I'll probably be in. I'll what's probably be in before that though. No, why, why, why? Why can't we just wait? <laughs> Let's just wait. Uh, Get that reward money up just in and case. What, hey, but, but hey, what's, what's your favorite? About- what's your favorite sports team? My favorite sports team, but like any sport? No, yeah, any sport. Uh, I mean, I'm from Philly, so Eagles. Okay, that's Philly, all. Okay, Philly, okay, Philly, 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 Philly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you rep east side, west side? Cause we got some real. Yeah. I rep all sides, man. All sides, okay, all okay. Sides, yeah. sides. He's smart. He's smart. He's smart ass, nigga. 
What's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> Turkey Peas. <laughs> Wait, what you going to jail for? Nah, so basically, so that is like a whole okay, case. So right now I'm a real estate agent. So like, I'll spend my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you gotta listen to this. Oh my god! Wait, hold on, hold on. Being, <laughs> hey, being a real estate agent on the run is crazy. <laughs> like, hey, I got thirty minutes to show y'all niggas this house because it'd be cops nah, over nah, here. So, Nigga, come so, through so, here. So, hurry up. But hey, <laughs> hey, but nah, nah, it's like the old case. I done switched that shit around. So. But um, yeah, no, it's still an open case, but it is bad. So I just ain't turned myself in with that. Was what type? What type of cases? I know I don't want you to put your case business out there, but what type of case business? Uh, it? it had bullets in it. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you shooting up the house you were selling, nigga? Or what? Man, I shot everybody up in that bitch. No, 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 no. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> but nah, yeah, it was, it was shooting though. It was attempted robbery type shit, but it was mainly just shooting that attempted that robbery. Oh, but nah, not not me doing it. Hell nah. Oh, I'm, about to, say, I'm about to say, how you robbing what? and you selling the house? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Nigga, they tased you? Have, <laughs> hey, we can steal houses too. Anyway, we're all, that's the side point. No what ways, I'm trying to say is, yeah. but, nah, nah, but yeah, nah, it, it, was, it was shooting in there on robbery. While I was on house arrest, that's the thing too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just a lifelong criminal. Who gave you a license? <laughs> <laughs> Where does he get his license from? My PO. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. If I pass my judge test, he gonna get it for free. So I pass it. This nigga. How many? How many houses you sell in 2021? In 21. Why you say 21? I would say if that year I say specifically was like 15. Holy shit, you look pretty good real estate agent, huh? But but it's, it's like I don't do like normal houses, so it's like a right like a price range you pick. You don't really pick it, but it's what you feel more comfortable with. So my my price range is from two fifty to five million. But the houses that I sell is mainly from two fifty, I say under one point five mil. But yeah, nigga, why are you shooting people? <laughs> Cause people trying me. <laughs> you try me, you get hit with the bullets. <laughs> what a nigga doing? I was selling you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. One nigga did out sell me, and I had to beat his ass. <laughs> this nigga is a is a hood real estate agent. This shit is oh, crazy. How, how, how long they got you doing though? Well, they really they're trying to give me time, but because I got a good lawyer, like half the time from like the case. So far, I've been in probation for six months. I'm already five months in, and then I've been on my house arrest for my second year already. No yeah, house arrest for, for two years? years? Nah, yeah, it's going on for two years. I've been on house arrest since. <laughs> 20, this nigga, 20, this nigga went like from late- selling different houses to not being able to leave his. It's insane. Bro. Nah, nah, I could leave. Nah, nah, cause I could leave mine. Um, so I just got like a certain time to come back in for like eight thirty. So you got curfew. <laughs> Hell yeah. God damn. This nigga like Cinderella. <laughs> so hey. ain't no clubbing for you then. Oh, I still go to the club in the day. How we you get up in the day? You sneak out? Yeah, we got some we got some clubs open out here in Florida in the daytime. Some bars too. Probably in, in Florida. <laughs> nigga, you said you was in Philly. No, no, my team I'm from Philly. Like I'm I was born oh, in Philly. Florida though. I've been, yeah, I've been in Florida for like what nine years now? Yeah, nine years. Where where you at? Shit, I think I don't even remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, you done, bro. All right, appreciate you coming on, bro. Uh, for sure, bro. I All appreciate right, that, man. Right. You said us. What? You said appreciate ha- you having us. What are you talking about, bro? What? It's just you some gay shit, man. <laughs> bro, nigga, shut up. <laughs> hey, we turn your ass in. Florida. <laughs> hey, we turn your ass in. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> fuck you. Hey, <laughs> come shoot this bitch up there. Hey, come, 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 come try me. Hey, yeah, come shoot okay, Mike up. Mike, I'll beat this shit out of you. I'll beat this shit out of you. How tall are you? Nigga, taller than you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> oh, I, promise oh, oh, you not. I promise you not, though. How much you weigh? Wait, nigga, wh- wh- how much I weigh? Why are you asking? 220. You fucking lightweight. Nigga, I will flip you on your head. I will beat what? your ass, Mike. How, how much you weigh? Damn. Huh? 
Don't say me. I'll kill you. <laughs> Real talk. Hey, hey, you feel about that? 100%. All right, I appreciate you calling. Let me show y'all niggas. All right, brody. I, I, I got some bullets for you too, Mike. All right, bro. This nigga, you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Mike, you lightweight though, bro. You lightweight. Nigga, how, how, how tall are you? I'm 6'8". Six, 6'8"? Eight. Six, eight? Oh, God. Damn. Yeah. Hey, but anyways, I'll fight you. And if I lose, I'm turning your ass in. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be a setup anyway. Oh, man. Y'all fucked up for that. All right, bro. Have fun in jail, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, I promise you we still going to be podcasting when you get out. <laughs> <laughs> nigga going to be like, damn, episode 846. Yeah, nigga, you've been going that long. <laughs> what I was thinking, though, the first person to ever have a seizure, what do you think people thought was happening? Being possessed by a devil or something? Yeah, that is true. Some awaken, some like the like the Holy Ghost. That true. What yeah. else? Is it? <laughs> or everybody was like, "Oh shit, it's the new dance move, the sizzle." <laughs> <laughs> nah, being the first person to have a seizure. I know it's like you on a you on the ground frying like not a er- piece of bacon. Not everybody. <laughs> And then now people are like Not you in the hospital And everybody's like Experimenting on you And shit like that No that shit's serious though bro It is my, my little brother used to get seizures All the time It sucks because With theirs it's just like They have a really good chance Of surviving the seizure But it's like What they could be around And fucking bash their head On some shit mm-hmm. Like That shit got us I've seen like There was this woman She was taking care of her kids And like, the daughter, she looked like she had to be, like, eight or nine, and she was already trained on, like, what to do when her mom has a seizure. Yeah. Like, she, like, put her mom on the ground, did something to her mom's face and stuff like that, made sure her mom didn't hit her head. It's just like, that shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I remember my little brother, I think, I, I don't know if I told this story on the when my little brother had a seizure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to put story. my fingers in his mouth. Yep. Yeah. Hey, why? Story. I don't know. I thought that was like I thought the thing when you get seizures. Thought he's like choking or something. No, he's having a seizure. Well, I'm saying. Like, the, the I think in, like I fucking kill you. What if I like had a seizure and they'd be like, "Oh man, you good?" But I don't know why Mike suck his hands in your mouth. But uh, <laughs> nigga, what he did? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you better be pretty sure about that. I I because in my head I saw him from across the room like just like going back and forth. I like just swaying because we were doing like morning prayer. He's walking. No, no. So I went to boarding school, Max. So for instance, you did. You, you probably don't know. That. I, was, I was in boarding school in Nigeria, and every morning we used to wake up and do morning prayer. So he'd be like clapping, and then do like praise and worship at like five o'clock in the morning, bro. Yeah, clapping at five. Yeah, in the morning? like it's just a beat that you kind of go to. It's like. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> just sing it, right? Oh, y'all start singing at five in the yeah. morning. Yeah, I definitely would have left. Yes. So as we're doing that, usually like kids are still like have your blankets on. Niggas is, like still damn near leaning on shit, sleeping as that shit's happening. And then I see my little brother in the back. <laughs> so they make y'all become y'all own alarm clock. Yeah. No, they they <laughs> so ring a bell like a little. That's little, what I'm saying. It's the nigga that got it initiated. Tell me, yeah. yeah, I'm about to get these niggas singing. It was, da 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 da. And then I'm just saying, it's always the first person that work that wake up. So yeah, no, it's the yeah. Somebody's assigned to ring the bell in the morning. So you ring the bell, and then we all converge into one room. So everybody has like. It's like one big room with like eight bunk beds in it, but yeah, there's yeah. three of them. Yeah, yeah. Right. So at, when that happens, everybody goes to usually the older kids' little pod, right? Right, right. So right. they go there. We start clapping, and there's like praise and worship songs, like you would sing in church. Mm-hmm. It just is just a universal Nigerian beat. In any Afrobeat song, you can just you can always have that same beat, right? So we're doing that. <laughs> we're doing that. My little brother's swaying back and forth, and I'm like, damn, you don't look too good. So I'm just, I'm still thinking, you know, clapping and singing. And then all I see is like his body just starts like dropping. I was like, oh shit. So I run over there, grab him. And I'm like, Davis, wake up. So I slap him first and he wasn't uh, waking up and then he was having a seizure. And my head, it was always, I thought that people can bite your, t- they can bite their tongue off and then choke by accidentally biting their tongue off. So my initial thing was that I'm going to stick my finger in his mouth so he can't bite his tongue and he was because he was biting hard as fuck on my like my hand was like damn near bleeding he was biting so hard 
And then he and then he was good. <laughs> yeah, that niggas was doing foreplay. Not with my brother, <laughs> bro. <laughs> with my brother. Maybe he just didn't want to pray that day. No, nah, that, that would have been crazy if he did that. That would have been insane. Did all that for that. But no, that kept he should have been burned at a stake. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's think of the scenario. Niggas start praying in the morning and you start seizing up. This nigga gotta be the devil. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yeah, after that. Yeah, that's boarding school. That was pretty much my day. You wake up, you do that, then you can go back to sleep or start getting your uniform on, like ironing it or something like that. And then you go to school from like seven to like five, and you get back. Then seven you wash five. Yeah, then you wash your clothes with your hands, and then they give you a little um, what they call the uh, siesta. That's what they called it, which is just like a relaxing time, like or t- take a nap, mm-hmm. like an hour. Then you have study hall from like seven to nine, mm-hmm. and then dinner. And bed lights off. What happened to playtime <laughs> 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 on weekends? Sometimes on weekends, yeah, yeah, or during like a little bit after dinner. Was this all year round? All year. Oh my god! <laughs> no wonder y'all so smart. <laughs> That's why all Nigerians smart. That makes sense though. Now that I think about it, the people that are like super super smart that come from you like look at their schooling system. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we never had no summer. <laughs> America be giving up. Like, man, I can't take this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> Get these niggas three months off. Yeah, and then living at school. Living at school is the what made it that way. Yeah, because some people could go home. Day. There were some people that yeah, obviously go home. There was day students and those boarding students. Boarding students, we were like the ghetto. Niggas' uniform wasn't as clean because you know you washing your shit with your hands. And then other people in you know that go home and shit, they got either maids or just better washing machines. And that shit was kind of that's just t- terrible. Nah, that shit. No recess. No, we had school, recess. Play soccer school year round. Play soccer. The only p- bad part, like the the boarding schools, like horror stories, are like the first one I went to was terrible. I think I had termites eating my bed. So, <laughs> and then somebody put termites near my bed too. So, so then when I got back to my bunk bed, my shit like fell through. You know they're trying to pick on the American quote unquote American kid, even though I was born there, mm-hmm. but I haven't been there since in my whole adult life. So they were trying to pick on me. They would leave like spoiled food and shit under my bed. Um, but I wasn't going for that. I had I still had like the Chicago in me, like heavy. So I was fighting everybody. Man. Took no L's. What did you do to piss someone off to put termites? Nothing. Just being me. Niggas was hating. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to worry about a nigga that say that, though. What? Like, ask, you asking people, hey, why they hating on you? Because no reason, because I'm just being me. Like, yeah, what does being you mean? <laughs> why you got, like, 10 haters, nigga? You sure you ain't the problem? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, at one point, you might have to listen to some of the haters. No, speaking of haters, though, the the girl, so I was listening again to Charlemagne on The Flagrant. He was further explaining, like, the Michael B. Jordan thing. Mm-hmm. He was basically saying the girl that interviewed him on the red carpet didn't wasn't the one that called him corny. Mm-hmm. It was the girl that she works with that yeah. called him corny. Mm-hmm. And she said that he was corny in middle school or whatever, yeah. or blah, blah, blah. But the other girl doubled down on it and called him corny again. Yeah, and yeah on, on the... Because he dates white women. Mm-hmm. Oh, they they're bringing that part into it. Yeah. Oh, damn, that's crazy. But that Charlemagne also said that um in that same interview mm-hmm. that sh- the girl too was like you know when somebody says oh that person is corny and you like yeah and you bring up something another situation because she then brought up either she brought up something else but it wasn't ca- she didn't directly call him corny but it's kind of like insinuating yeah and then Joe Budden was kind of like under fire for calling Michael B Jordan corny for doing what he did on the red carpet yeah. Which I didn't think I don't know I didn't think he was doing anything wrong because what like because like, I think uh, he the the worst thing he could have did was just not take the, the not interview. take the interview or <laughs> it was almost like I feel like we still had to decode what was going on yeah obviously it was obvious something was going on and it's just easy to look up they said everything but Michael B Jordan didn't say everything yeah he said oh remember you no know I'm saying the corny kid right the corny kid right that's all he said yeah. he could have been like. Remember in the eighth grade when all your friends used to call me corny? Now you at my red carpet and you interview me now? Yeah. Ah, look at you. Ah, you got to stay over here no matter what because your boss says so. Yeah. And then take the mic and fart on it. Oh my gosh. But she didn't, but she, nobody would even know that she went to, <laughs> nobody would even know that they went to the same school. Like they went way back if she didn't say that there. She could just did a normal question. He wasn't, I don't think he was having it. Like what moment, like, there's, I'm past all the people that I need to pass to in my life. That hated on me. 
<laughs> Either they a broke ass nigga or they dead. Every so dude. I want. <laughs> Oh, Every dude, teacher, one of the teachers that used to hate on me die. I was like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I would feel the same way." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said I wasn't gonna be shit. Now look who here, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> She's not here, bro. The one of the teachers that freaking whipped me in school. They were trying to hit me up too. I'm like, nigga, you gave me fucking scratches on my back. Whoa. <laughs> we talked about this on the podcast when I got whipped oh. in the back oh. and it left marks on my back. <laughs> you should say that first. Next time. You should have let that. Whoa. Bro, this Wait, ep- why is episode the- three. No. We talked about why this already. Why is that the first thing out of your mouth though? What do you mean? <laughs> the dude left scratches on my back. <laughs> Wait, it was a dude. Yeah, it was a dude. And boy, just, you just, <laughs> well, because you said he, the teacher hit me up again, so I thought it was like a girl like hitting you up, like, oh, now that he's you know out of school and shit. Oh no! I thought the girl was like, <laughs> <laughs> this dude might talk about the first thing he said about the day. You could have been like, oh, the dude who disciplined too hard or something like that. First thing he says, even I said discipline, you would still find a way to say, oh, you disciplined you. That's way worse. <laughs> Is this not way worse? No, it's not because I did have scratches on my back. <laughs> I did scratches and like whip marks from like the cane. That's what you should say. That scratch whip marks. The scratches means that it came from the hands. No, it doesn't. You can get scratched by a tree branch, and it was like that's what it was. It was trees. You said you with sticks. Yeah, you. He was hitting me with sticks in my back. Why? What did you do? Uh, this is episode three conversation. Oh, so you, okay, okay. We've already said that. we already kind of talked about it, but we got in trouble for some shit in boarding school, and that was. Oh, what I heard you said we got in trouble from YouTube. Fuck them niggas. Oh, you thought YouTube was was spanking us? <laughs> <laughs> they had, they did one one. <laughs> what would it take for you? Like, how much money would it take to let a white man whip you in your back? <laughs> would you do it for a million dollars? I can't on bro. national TV. Fuck no. A hundred million national TV, all the money out though. No, no money. No money. <laughs> Fuck that. You wouldn't cosplay with a, a no, hundred million. That meme would live forever, bro. I'm gonna ask if you ask the listener that one. Well, maybe this is. I'm time. I'm I'm aging this right now. But Can you whatever. see what Chris Rock said about uh, the Will Smith like Emancipation movie. No. What'd oh he yeah, say? I heard he had a special. What did he say? Well, he was like, I would just watch Emancipation just to see Will Smith get whipped or something like that. Oh yeah, because he's doing the. He did a Netflix thing. He did a slave movie right after. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, Will Smith did it for 100 mil. Hey, so that must have been his punishment. <laughs> was he a slave in that movie? Yeah, I think so. Oh, damn. I didn't even see. What's it called? <laughs> Emancipation. A black dude in the movie about slavery. Was he a slave? You no, think people- he was a hybrid. <laughs> 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 Do you think people would, would get mad? If they had like you know how like sometimes they'll switch the gen- the color like Little Mermaid was black it was white right yeah so people are getting outraged there is a movie out the where there's white slaves yeah somebody made a movie it wasn't like a big <laughs> big production but white people hated that shit you gotta realize you that but movie- I'm just saying no you think black people would get mad if they had like a you know they're trying to diversify some shit and they so had- if, they, if they white. Oh, if they had a white slave, yeah, that it's just, like, just a random white slave. I feel like white. I feel like racist white people got that in their back pocket. <laughs> like if we ever want to start a race war, yeah, we're gonna have diverse slaves and say it was 1860. But sometimes in those medieval movies, they try to be some of them try to be more, um, you know, proactive and stuff like that. And there'll be a random black dude in. In that movie, I'm like, this definitely wasn't just random. <laughs> there in in the House of Dragon, there's a there's a black family with dreads. I know. <laughs> Man, we gotta get some niggas up in here. The, all right, let's call y'all the nigga Gary. <laughs> we gonna put y'all on Chicken Island. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> what y'all specialize in is growing big ass grapefruit. Actually, let's just call it watermelon. <laughs> I still don't know why that fruit. Hey, make they dragon purple too. <laughs> There's a movie called White Slaves. That really? Came, came out in 1937 though. <laughs> what the fuck? And there's another one. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 1937. That's had- like no, it's insane. They probably made that movie like let's show them how the fuck it's done. <laughs> I think it's a German movie too, so this is like a Nazi time too. Oh shit, that type of slave. Got you. Oh, the, so on well, the other side, I don't know. Let me, oh. let, me look, let me look up exactly what it is, but 
<laughs> I thought it was one. If it's just Germany, yeah. then obviously. That'd be insane, though. Right after 1937, they probably was mad as hell. Let me show you how to really do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all boys wouldn't work as hard as us. <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> now, try, trying to a competition is who the better slave was. I guess it was slaves probably doing that. It That's why they call house thing. niggas. What, so, explain that. House nigga? Yeah, yeah. One, a house <laughs> nigga... The, the way you can become a house nigga is to gain the most trust of your master. So like and Uncle to, Ruckus. Right. And to do that, you probably got to tell on the other slaves. So you got to be like, hey, master, like you got to break, like, you got to break. First, you got to come with something big, like breaking up like a, a like an Fight. escape plan. Yeah. Right. They got a big escape plan. It's going to work. You sneak to the master and tell them and be like, yeah, they, they planning to escape, master. Why they all talk like that? Because I, oh, I guess the South, right? And it's kind of like that humble stuff. Yeah, they they had to always talk humble. Uh-huh. Nigga have any spark in their voice? <laughs> tap, imagine. But so then that person gains loyalty, and the uh, master starts treating him better. Let him wear his hand me downs and stuff like that. So now he really looking out. He infiltrating because he know the languages. Because they wasn't all speaking English right mm-hmm. away. So man, it's fucked up. That's kind of what Samuel Jackson was in Django. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He was I mean, holding uh, Leo. Yeah. Cabrio, right? Yeah, and yeah. people didn't like him. Well, he like ratted on. Um, I've never seen to Django. I don't really? think so. Hmm? I don't think I have. You seen Roots before? Yeah, yeah. That's a long guess. Roots is. Roots is they were you showing that shit for like twelve years of slave. Twelve years. Which, who's in that? I don't know. So we gonna play a little game. We gonna go back to school. Mike and I, uh, we're gonna see, <laughs> are are we the crash or are we the dummies? <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna uh, ask uh, questions that we probably learned in middle school somewhere, and we'll we'll see where it goes. All right, let's do this. Okay, what number is the Roman numeral XVI? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 56. No hell no. Hundred. Wait wait wait. Seven. X. So you're, you're really high. And Mike, you're really low. X? What the fuck is X? <laughs> I thought X was. Oh, like- no, oh, go. Wait. S- wait, XV, what? I. Oh, XV. Oh, yes. Oh. 16? Yeah. Holy well, shit. What well, made you say 100? I don't know why the X, I thought. I thought it was just X. I'm tripping. I thought X was like five. <laughs> I'm high as hell. <laughs> That's always going to be my excuse. <laughs> All right, what's Definitely next? 16. I tripped. So I tripped. Pat got one on that one. What are the first ten amendments of the Constitution called? Fuck. <laughs> you asked the Nigerian this question. <laughs> uh, f- shit. Freedom of speech. <laughs> I, oh, thought no, you about, I thought you were about to say thou shalt that, not kill or such. You huh? said you're saying a commandment. I'm saying like what are all the commandments called? Like there's a name for all of them. Oh, the Ten Commandments. No. The Twelve Commandments. No, there's only ten. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just give it to you? Yeah. It's the Bill of Rights. Oh, shit. No, no shit. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought you talking about the one in the Bible. <laughs> the Bible. It said, that show that's still. <laughs> oh, man. All right, your turn, Pat, man. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if I would have got that. All right, what is the capital of Illinois? Champagne? <laughs> no. It? No. What is it? Springfield. Springfield. Fuck. <laughs> Springfield. I've, I've never been there. I've been there like one time. It's just like history shit. It's just country. <laughs> you yeah. said history shit. Yeah, just like, I think like because uh, Lincoln was there, like born there or something. Oh, I thought that's where he got popped. All right. <laughs> no, I don't know where he got popped. Um, In his head. <laughs> You know that John Wilkes Booth, the guy that like shot Lincoln, like apparently he would have got away if he didn't like jump off because they're like at an elevated like part of the theater and he jumped off after he shot Lincoln and then he broke his leg. Something oh, like that. the dude that assassinated Lincoln? Yeah. Oh, he would have got I'm sure he would have got away. What the, What kind of gun did he shoot him with? I don't know. It's probably <laughs> did they have snipers back then? No, no he, he came up right behind him. And, point Blake. Yeah. Shot him in that long ass top hat. Foof. <laughs> <laughs> Does Lincoln have any like relatives right now? Like yeah, descendants? He got, he got he got like a black granddaughter, great great granddaughter. No way! I promise you, bro. No way for real. Yeah, Lincoln has a black grandma. I don't know, man. They said <laughs> Honest Abe. How how did Honest Abe end up with a black chick? Honest Abe, I think he has sex with Aunt Jemima and uh. <laughs> 
Because on his A, but probably, black daughter. There's, there's no way he was married to a black girl back then. He didn't have to be married to her. He'd just take her. That's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> this dude talking about. All those dudes got black kids. Every oh, president, yeah, true, true, true. Every president that had that was under slaves, they all got black kids. You probably, um, well, no, not, not you, me. yeah. <laughs> you a rare breed, man. No, I'm just. You like, know, I probably could be. You know, I don't know. One of the president's great great grandson. Who knows? You're not. Which one you think? Me? Yeah. Which one you want? To be the grandson of none of them niggas, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I had to, yeah, damn, I don't even know how many. Like, I don't know any presidents. Name as many presidents you can right now. First, do like first three. Can you do like first no, three? no. They just name is just name okay, ten. Okay. Uh, Washington, Adams, Carter. Who the fuck? What's who's Adams' first name? John Adams. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that. Go ahead. Oh, Carter. Reagan, Trump, Obama, Bush, Bush, <laughs> Clinton. That's a cheat code. <laughs> Clinton, um, Johnson, uh, Hoover, um, shit. I think the presidents. Any, I think the presidents Quincy. in the like the the between the first president. Who was the second president? That's like that's what John I'm saying. John Adams. John Adams was. Yeah. Damn, you were, you paid attention to history. Just huh? the first two. We used, to, I, we used to like it used to be a song that would get you through oh, all the presidents. Oh, true. What was how that song? And then Obama part, they would go oh, 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 nah. <laughs> Obama. Nah, that <laughs> racist ass. What's the what's the the other song they used to? Imagine they had a president song and Obama part. They did like a bridge and it was a hip hop bridge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers They really say ah, We tried It turns to Afrobeat <laughs> the, the Afrobeat song No we gotta get back To these questions though. Go ahead I was gonna say Cause no one really knows What Benjamin Franklin does Like the guy on the 100 bill mm-hmm. Like do you guys know Like what he Cause he's not a president he He's not No He wrote Didn't he write Common Sense I don't know What we mean Write Common Sense Like he wrote a book Called Common Sense I looked that up. But that was, I, I think that was super, super famous. What did he do? I thought you made, you're saying he made common sense. And, and I think he, ha- he, he had the slave that um, invented electricity. Benjamin Franklin? Or didn't he have like a key on a kite or some shit? Remember that story? <laughs> yeah. This nigga famous for getting electrocuted. Bro, that story used to make me so afraid. He wrote the book Common Sense? I think so, yeah. It's like yeah. a pamphlet or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to write for real back. <laughs> didn't they say they had a four-page pamphlet? Didn't they say they are going to put, what's the name on the? Uh, Harry Tubman? Yeah. Yeah, they said they said. They did say that. When did, they said that a while ago, and it still hasn't happened. Nah, a lot of shit ain't happened. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was going to stop killing niggas. They still doing that. <laughs> we promise this the last one. Oh, my God. Oh, he moved too fast. Come on, dog. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Bro. <laughs> Dude, I had a good question that just threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, what was it, Dude. <laughs> I know police brutality do be making me forget <laughs> shit. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Nigga get beat by the cops. I am not doing my homework. Nigga, I, that's what I'm thinking about. Especially if I got a white teacher. Hell no. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say. You ain't see that shit on the news last night? <laughs> Fucking not concentrate on this essay. Oh, my God. Nigga just got beat. Go ahead. Free. Rodney King. I was going to say, like, you guys know that, like, after World War II, like, they brought a bunch of Nazis to America to, like, help them with, like, science and shit. You heard oh, about that? No, I ain't never heard of that. Yeah. Like, Americans brought them over? Yeah. Like, we, like, recruited them. Like, after we won the war or whatever, like, we brought Nazis over to, like, help with, like, Rockets that's that's shit. America shit. That's some America shit, yeah. man. You always put people that smart you in position. And America, America just shows you like they don't give a fuck because they let you know the truth like years later. Yeah. People like, man, we think Kennedy was an inside job. Fifty years later, like it was. <laughs> and nigga, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing we're gonna do. Pay your taxes. I always wonder what they. <laughs> I always wonder what they hiding at uh, the little what's the place. Uh, Area 51? Yeah, I know what they hide. What? The next recipe to the next Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's they still, all they do. Anytime they still some, sell the chicken sandwiches? You got to wait till the next catastrophe. When some shit go down, like some government shit, 
New chicken sandwich coming out. KFC, some shit about to go down because KFC just came out with those new wraps. Like the chicken is the buns? No, 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 no. I remember that though. Who they, came up with that? The chicken, the buns. They're doing that you don't again. Remember I that? Think. Oh, they are. Yeah. KFC used to have the the chicken as the bun, and it'd be like bacon and cheese in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Huh? They did that a long time ago. He said they're bringing it yeah, back. They're bringing it back. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they want us to die, huh? Mm-hmm. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have an insulin <laughs> insulin shortage around. This bitch. <laughs> Everybody gonna be diabetic. Oh my gosh! They gonna make every. Did you guys talk about the UFO shit? Oh my, my bad for interrupting. No, nah, what UFO shit? Like all the UFO shit, like the last couple months. Oh yeah, nah. you guys talked about that. A little bit, a little that. bit. But you got any theories about it? Theories, UFO shit. Yeah. To me, like we have such like a powerful government. I don't believe shit like shit like that gets released on accident. Yeah. Anytime, like, information like that is released, that means, like, the real shit is, like, happening, like, right underneath. Like, damn, we got to fix this. I just let, mm, show them a couple videos of some UFOs he caught 10 years ago. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think that there's any inherent danger if there are UFOs. They would have like, been did some shit. Or, they, like, or if, they soft as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. They now, scary if as fuck. Alien, yeah, if aliens been watching this for, for hundreds of years and... They have advanced, more advanced stuff than us, and they haven't done anything yet, then, yeah, they scary. S- scary. Come get us. <laughs> <laughs> or they visited, like, a long-ass time ago, and we didn't, we weren't even there. Or they didn't visit us, but they visited Earth, and they didn't see anybody. Anything. Yeah, that's true. Like, they could just saw they some random-ass d- dinosaurs, and yeah, like, yeah, this ain't shit here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or they zoomed into the hood and said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> get out this bitch. <laughs> Young Thug got a Rico? Yeah, I'm out. Oh, damn. I, I'm like, this nigga announcing old news. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do we zoom back? Like, he hurry out of there. Anyway, man, we can close it out here. Yeah, y'all boring as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we not giving y'all another episode. We not doing nothing. We <laughs> That's some toxic shit. Nah. You ain't came out with merch. Yeah, yeah. It's, Mike, it's, the clothes man. Oh, speaking of merch, shout out to Genie World. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. The big moves coming. If I remember... I'll put merch like the designs right here somewhere. Like it's gonna be right. There. I don't like how you putting that in your hands. Audio listeners, I'll put it on top of your head if you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pause. How is that pause? I'll put the, the little thing right there. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit, look. My bad. The big thing. The big thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You can't have that happen and be little. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Ain't that crazy? You always gonna defend your dick size no matter what <laughs> no situation. Matter what. They could be like, you ugly. <laughs> your dick little. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh, did you even say that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this been episode eighty eight. We didn't even say anything. Subscribe to Patreon. Shout out to Michael Irvin. <laughs> um, Free him. He ain't do it. Subscribe to YouTube. Rate us on Apple Music, Spotify, Patreon. All the jazz. <clears throat> Go ahead. Patreon. I said that. Patreon is going up to $50. <laughs> They're going to get mad at you. you gonna what a, the fuck? You going to make a Discord or like release a Discord more? Or? Oh, yeah, the Discord. We got a Discord. They toxic as fuck in there, though. I don't fuck with some of them niggas in there. <laughs> but, yeah, join the Discord. Let's get though. some new blood in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> some niggas be in there dick riding hard as hell. <laughs> God damn. Um, don't make me delete that bitch now. <laughs> I took some of these uh, mob privileges over. <laughs> hey. A little bit too much. Remember, <laughs> I told it's our show. I, I think niggas I told, forget I, that. <laughs> I took their privilege privilege away, and I said, "Welcome to North Korea." <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? I don't know. I'm, a, di- I'm a dictator. Whoa, <laughs> I am a dictator. Technically, in the Discord, I thought you said dick eater. All right, bro. What up? That's what? the podcast. All right, peace, That's man. <laughs> Go ahead. Press the button. <laughs>